it is a it is a magnificent feat of engineering. That instrument right there, the instrument that was delivered to us was built entirely by Siemens. My group has been working on advanced MRI applications for many years, and over the past 20 years or so, uh, there's been a steady trend in this field of MRI research towards higher and higher magnetic field strengths. Specifically, a stronger field gives you a stronger signal, but it also gives you increased artifacts in certain parts of the body. Cardiac imaging, lung imaging, imaging around metallic implants. So it occurred to us that we need to think differently. So what could we do if we had all the high performance subsystems of a modern MRI scanner, but at a lower magnetic field strength? Low is really relative. The magnetic field strength we're talking about here is still about 10,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field but it is about three to six times lower than most clinical MRI scanners. So traditional MRI has been optimized for very specific things, like brains, knees, and spines. And you have to hold them still for about 30 to 60 minutes for the uh, course of a, an MRI exam. This MRI uh, will be much more versatile. We, we expect to be able to image human movement, like speech or singing, uh, movement of the joints, uh, movement of the stomach and the intestines, and we'll be able to do better imaging around in areas where conventional MRI suffers from distortions and artifacts, like around metallic implants or in and around the lungs. Scanner's right behind me. So it's a, it's a, it has all the high performance components of a regular MRI in the hospital, but it operates at a lower field strength, making some of these new applications possible. And that, that basically is how we got started on this whole voyage. Uh, and now we're you know, excited to uh, be launching.